Okay, well the strawberries are starting to uh, come on with their redness and the ripeness now and we're going to have our first decent meal of strawberries tonight. Of course the blackbirds got here first and they've had their first uh, meals of, of um, strawberries but no, we put, uh, bought these bendy things a year or so ago and netting. So we found out just putting netting over the top just means that the, the blackbirds just peck right through the net into the strawberries and get a good feed anyway. But no, these bendy hoop things, they do the job quite well. So yeah, and a bit of netting over the top. And uh, unfortunately I didn't learn that lesson for the peas, um, which I'll show you in a tick. That, well, a few days ago, I had a nice crop of peas through here. They're coming up, just like this little pea here. And they're looking real good, so I took the cover off them. So I thought, yeah, no, they're big enough. Blackbirds won't get through there. And here you see the result. We have a magnificent crop of very healthy blackbirds in our uh, neighborhood. So, yep. I don't normally do this, but I was looking forward to Christmas peas. So um, I've gone and bought a whole lot of pea seedlings um, direct from Mitre 10. And I'm going to get, I found some old chicken wire. And so I'm going to plant these pea seedlings now and I'm going to cover them up with chicken wire so they're fully protected. And so yeah, I've learnt that lesson well and truly. Um, hungry blackbirds and young pea seedlings don't mix. Yeah. So i just push them out. These are designed specifically to be pushed out like this. And see how many come out by themselves. There we go. There we go. And I'll go one like that. Now, of course. The blackbirds won't have any trouble pulling these seedlings out because they're not rooted in the soil at all. And I should really make sure that their roots are freed up before planting them. So there we go. And the thing about, this is a green feast variety of uh, dwarf peas. And the thing about green piece you need to plant them relatively close together so they will then grow up and connect to each other and support each other this way once they get bigger so that's the, the benefit of green feast is you don't have to stake them or anything like that because of their dwarf habit so there you go just need to do that for the rest of the bed and I'll show you how I put the chicken wire on top after that. Okay here's my fabulous idea maybe to try and keep the blackbirds from decimating the uh, new pea crop. I got some uh, roll of spare chicken wire here which I've cut to the right length. I'm going to fold it in half and then put it up like a bit of a um, a triangle pyramid teepee type thing across the bed with a bit of fold up footing on the side so yeah we'll see how this all works out in the end hopefully it works out for the best I'll try and do that now and show you the end result and hopefully it will all work out right so here's the nearly finished product I've folded the uh, chicken wire in half thank you Mr Prince I'm gonna sit down you sit boy yep you go and make yourself cute that's it and try not to spike yourself on the on the chicken wire. Um, yeah, so I folded the chicken wire in half and then a little bit of an edge fold over on the side. And I'm going to take some old, um, these are from the cherry tree cuttings I had, and I'm going to plop, plop them in there to hold the wire in place. And that will stop the... Uh, 
in theory it will stop the blackbirds getting at them until they develop a root structure which will hold them in place and hopefully um, we'll get a decent crop of peas out of this. I won't leave it in too long because I don't want them to get entangled in this. Uh, it would be good to support them but it also mean I'd never get the peas that grow on the inside either. So no, this is just here for a week or two hopefully and it will get the job done to protect them until the root structure is well and truly in place so the blackbirds can't do their worst um, with this crop of peas for the third time. Yeah, <laughs> and hopefully we'll get some peas for Christmas. Won't we, Mr. Prince? Hopefully, hopefully. Any final words? No, you can't eat that. No, no final words from Mr. Prince Cashew. So we'll leave his royal highness alone and get into it. Kapai. Right, in the Battle of the Blackbirds, I've uh, resorted to other methods before I went to the uh, chicken wire. One of these is a 360 outdoor um, solar powered pest troll from Mitre 10. Um, I find that its sound is very annoying and it is uh, motion triggered so it's quite sensitive and yes the noise is very annoying um, and it does keep the birds away for three to four days and then they seem to either get uh, used to it or I'm finding out it's not really doing anything and and then they oh, they get too hungry and they just go ahead and, and uh, eat whatever they want to eat anyway. So the other one I've tried here is a, a bird repellent from a in a tube. It's a mixture of uh, herbs and spices that are smelly, designed to annoy um, the birds. And This is particularly, this sound is particularly annoying to young people who have much better hearing than old people, uh, we've found. Um, and uh, so yeah, something to take into account. Bird repellent uh, in a tube you can squeeze out in a line and it's a, an annoying smell with herbs and spices uh, for the birds. But once again, they start to fade after a few days and the birds get used to it and they go ahead and do what they want anyway. Um, but you know, if you keep repeating with it, then it works. So you just be on, got to be on top of it. Um, but in the end, I have to go with chicken wire folded over um, as a better option than anything I've seen just now. I'll show you. Well, shot in the, moment. the, uh, the wire protection has done its job, and now it's getting to the stage where if I don't take the wire off, um, I'm going to have to keep it on. But I think I can take it off now. But the... Uh, as you can see, the peas have come through in quite a strong way, which is great. But as also can be seen, the uh, the birds, the blackbirds, have definitely tried to get in under the wire while the plants were small. So he's hoping that, in fact, this time round, these peas will survive, and we will get some Christmas peas after all, eh, Prince Cashew? That would be nice if that was what could happen. So. We'll take the wire off and we'll see what happens. Good news, I managed to get the uh, chicken wire off without any uh, great hassle. And so here's looking forward to uh, what will hopefully be a great pea crop come Christmas time. And so yeah, another great garden experiment, which will be interesting to see how it actually turns out, um, hopefully. It'll survive both the birds and his big bum. So, yeah. Cup eye. Get into it. <laughs>